Now, uh, I really like the bicycle, and uh, January gets pretty cold, and but you know some days are definitely warm enough to go biking out there. But in order for me to get a real good picture of of how many days, how many good workout days I'm going to get, I want to get a good graph to help me uh, take a look at that that data, uh, give me a better idea, uh, just a, a good quick look to to be able to figure that out. So I'm going to make a a histogram uh, to help me with this data. So right now I have gra uh, in this chart here the high temperature in January. Um, anywhere from 1 to 5 degrees, 6 to 10 degrees, 11 to 15 degrees, and 16 to 20 degrees. And notice how every single one of those uh, ranges is exactly uh, the same uh, distance, uh, the same length. Uh, and then I have the number of days that each of those high temperatures occurs. And 7 days, 17 days, 6 days, and 1 day, uh, and this is last year in January. So this year I'm expecting about the same thing, but I'm going to go ahead and make a chart. Uh, normally I would be right here at home. If I click on charts, uh, then I will get a chart here. Uh, I click on that. This one, uh, now I'm going to choose either clustered column or 3D clustered column. I kind of like the 3D ones, uh, so I'm going to click on that one. And this doesn't give me a histogram right away. Uh, it gives me a bar graph here. Uh, so I need to change some things. In order to really make it a histogram, if I click up here to the quick uh, chart quick layouts and I go to the number eight one, the, the middle bottom one in here, uh, that changes it so that they're all there, it's all touching here. There's no spaces in between, and that makes it quite a bit more uh, like a histogram should be. Uh, I still don't have any titles in here, so I need to label these things better. And I can just click on each one of these. Um, this is really uh, is it the number of days? This is really, uh, yes, it is the number of days, uh, but it's really the um, high temperature in January. So this is not a very good title here. Let's go high, or I'll call it daily high temperatures. In January. And then uh, I also want to change my title on here. This one is uh, temperature in degrees Celsius. And this title is the number of days. All right, so now I have everything labeled in here, but um, one of the things that I don't like about when I have a chart like this to be able to, the 3D helps a little bit with these shadows to tell them apart. I like to change the color on here. So I can, I can double click one of these uh, and certainly go through here and change the colors of each one of these. Uh, actually, I changed them for all of them, which is what, wasn't, what it, wasn't what I was trying to do. I meant to select just one of them. If I double click that one, uh, then I can change each one individually. And then do do each one of these one at a time. Oops, I think I selected all of them. So I want to just do this one here. There we go. And uh, let's go purple here. Oh, I did. Ch I want to ch cancel that somehow. There we go. I've got to make sure I select one and not all of them. There we go. Okay. So now I have uh, a, a good histogram here with all the information I need, and I can take this and cut it and paste it in different places here. Um, but basically, I have everything that I want in this histogram. I have the labels of the axes. Uh, oh, by the way, noticing that um, I have here, I put the, the word TO instead of a dash there, because if I put 1-5, it actually thinks that I'm trying to put in January 1st. So how, using the word two can be helpful uh, in there. Um, but now I have a histogram that I can look at it and say, uh, you know, how many days in, in the month am I expecting there'll be six to 10 degrees, 11 to 15 degrees, et cetera. Um, and it's a nice graph that I can use to, to, really, to help me or help anybody else if I was going to be presenting this, uh, understand what, uh, what Tokyo is like in January.